Bar graphs and histograms deal with a type of mathematic we call statistics. And that type of math just deals with collecting, organizing, and analyzing data. Where you see this used frequently in your own education is during science when you're collecting data and putting it on a chart or some type of table, such as a frequency table. By this point, you've probably had a lot of experience with bar graphs. However, when I say histogram, it probably doesn't really bring up any image in your head. But histograms are related to bar graphs in the fact that they look almost alike, except for one key difference. Histograms, there are no spaces between the bars, and that's a very important distinction to make. Let's take a look at an example where you'd want to use a histogram over that of a bar graph. Let's say our class wanted to purchase class t-shirts and we need to know what size t-shirt everyone wore. And we find out from the manufacturer that essentially each t-shirt is designed for a person of a height range or a height interval. These intervals are exactly the same. So 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 6. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60 is 6, and so on. Therefore, with these intervals, we have t-shirts that would fit anywhere from just over 4 feet tall all the way up to 6 feet tall. So based on that information, we can essentially just take the height of a person and determine what t-shirt they would need or what size t-shirt they would need uh, based on their height. So as we gather this information in a frequency table, we can then convert it over to a histogram, which will give us an easy visual reference uh, to be able to compare the data. Again, notice that as I construct the histogram, there are no spaces in between the bars. Also notice, that the intervals are the same ones I we had used before and there are no spaces in between but additionally there are no overlaps as well so it goes from 49 to 54 55 to 60 if we did have an overlap let's say we had 49 to 55 and then 55 to 60 if we had somebody who was 55 inches tall the question would be well do they go to into the category of the 49 to 55 or do they go into the 55 to 60? That becomes an issue, and that's why we don't have overlaps. So things to remember for a histogram. There are no spaces between the bars. Intervals must be the same. Bar graphs don't have intervals. And there is no overlapping of data.